Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Kiwi Ears Allegro. As you can see, this is another dongle deck, but it's you know designed to look like a controller, which is a bit kind of random. But, you know, anything to look different is kind of good, really. So anyway, as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Linsol for sending this out to try, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, or thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, let's live the music, shall we? So let's have a closer look. So yeah, like I said before, it's designed to look like a, you know, a ga game controller, kind of retro. So let's have a look at the back. So you can see it uses the ES9028Q2M. Normally it's the 9038. So obviously we'll see what it looks like. There's the specs. So basically 155 at 32 ohm, sorry, 155 milliwatts, which is okay for one of these. It's not a powerful beast, but it's more than enough. And 70 at 32 ohm, which is kind of, I guess, more than normal kind of power level. Does DST up to 256, 32 at 384. And yeah, so it's a really small uh, box manual. Obviously, we get to that in a sec. I've seen a few different languages. This is just the English part. You know, just the same kind of specs that's on the box. A bit more information there. Obviously, noise floor, signal to noise ratio. Status indicate. It's two piece, which is the colours. So it's either blue for PCM or red for DSD. Obviously, there's the support. Obviously, this will work fine. For my testing, it will be Android and Windows 10. Let's have a look. So metal, the buttons literally don't do anything. So obviously, Type C, plus and minus, so volume up and down. Nothing on there. Obviously, 3.5 and 4.4. And that's an LED, so you can see it there. And you can also see it through the jack when it's in use. And in here should just be the Type C. And yeah, that's it. So quite small. No branding, so I guess it's quite generic. And it would have been good if they included a USB adapter so you can use it with your computer. But obviously it is what it is. And this is around $59, I think. So yeah, see you in the next clip. So welcome to my review section of the Kiwi is Allegro. So let's get straight into filters. This doesn't have any, basically. This is quite a basic device, uh, basic device. But yeah, this has, I guess, then one filter. There's no mention of it on the paperwork or on the anywhere I could find. So it's just it set as one filter, which is fine with me to be honest. So let's talk about LEDs. So like I said before, in there. And in there, it's either blue or red. That's it. PCM or when it's using DSD. That's it. So, obviously, if you've got this flat, you won't, you won't see that one there. You just see light up through there. It's not too intrusive, so it's not too bad at all, really. Um, yes, I talk about power output of this. So, like I said before, 70 milliwatts, a 32 ohm on the 3.5. And then the 4.4 is 155 uh, milliwatts which is enough it powers anything i've tried for ease so i tried this with the kiwi is um melody i think the planar model not a problem at all yeah so power for is enough again if you use it with a computer it's the output power is better than using it with a phone from my experience so yeah output power is fine it's not it's not a it's not a monster but it is under 60 dollars so I don't expect that the more powerful ones typically are 80 or kind of 90 dollars. So it's not too bad at all. But the power's output is actually fine, really. And yes, I talk about buttons. So all this does nothing. There's a closer look. There's nothing. Obviously, you have volume up and down. You can do step by step or hold it for like faster. Works fine. And it's um yeah. That's it, works absolutely fine. Make sure when you first plug it in to turn it down, because by default, for me, this is maximum. So turn it down, really, is probably the, the best way to describe it, so just turn it down. And yeah, so what have I tried this with? Is tried it with Windows uh, 10, my PC, and my phone, um, Android, and absolutely fine. And that's all I can say. Obviously, it seems more powerful when you use it with a computer. Maybe you can just throw more voltage, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, with Android uh, Android 12 or Android 13, one or the other, I can't remember, sorry, absolutely fine. Windows 10 is fine, and I guess with Windows 11, it will also be fine. Windows 7, I don't know. You probably need drivers, and I, I don't think they offer support for that. So 
Just bear that in mind. And sound. So what does this sound like? I found this. I've never used this DAC chip before, but it sounds to me or how they've implemented implemented it uh, more on the analytical side for my kind of usage. So it's not not what you'd call it. Some people think call it musical, which I think is more V shaped or maybe more of a boost somewhere or another. But to me, this sounds quite analytical. So nothing really sounds boosted over anything else if you can describe it uh, layering was good very detailed um, that's all I can say really it just sounds really good I was quite happy with the sound again um, Kiwi ears have done a good implementation of it but some people really talk about sound preferences for DAX now that's that's a whole different kind of cat of fish really but yeah I think it sounds kind of more of an analytical kind of tuning and I was quite happy with it really no temperature because these sometimes these get warm and this does get warm this say this is all metal so it never really gets hot uh, it just gets warm in usage really and that's kind of it really and noise floor so i tried this with something sensitive again kiwi is orchestral light the orba really really clean background which is quite surprised because i don't know what the uh, output impedance of this is and yeah and obviously like i said before this supports DSD. Um, and one thing, power consumption. It seems quite okay for power consumption. I didn't do any extensive testing with it, but with my phone, it didn't seem too power hungry. I think the Sentrance DAC, uh, DAC port has that. It's still the king of that one, really, because that thing's a beast. But that's a obviously different kettle of fish, what it's designed for. And yes, the conclusion, what do I think of this? So this is a $59 DAC. And I think it sounds pretty good. I also like that it's got independent volume control, if I didn't mention it, not sync. So for computers, I prefer this over sync. So Windows set 100% and then just control the volume from the buttons. I prefer that. Um, sound quality is really good. This powers most things that I've got. It only struggle with hard to drive headphones or high impedance headphones. Um, think something like maybe like Sennheiser 650s and like up. And playing ours but if you've got anything normal you'll be fine with this and yeah i think that's all i can say it's a good little uh, dongle dac it's a bit i wouldn't say it's not that long it looks quite big on camera so here's my shanling mo pro uh, just for size so it's not that small but if you use it a fixed position um you're fine really and yeah good little dongle dac i'm quite happy with it really and i think that's pretty much it if you think you missed anything Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care. And yeah, see you in the next video.